Ford has been on a run, releasing the Ford F-150 Lightning, Ford Maverick Hybrid, and the Ford Bronco. The Ford Maverick was meant to be an entry-level, mass-market truck that looks great and is fuel-efficient with a reasonable price tag. But the Ford CEO has a huge problem with the Maverick as Ford confirms a huge recall. Join us today to find out exactly what happened with the Ford Maverick and why 65,000 of them are being recalled. To fully understand why this is such a big problem, it's important to know what Ford's goals are. Jim Farley, the Ford CEO, set the goal of becoming the world's largest electric pickup truck maker. To do this, they had a simple three-step plan. Step one, make an electric F-150 truck to build trust with customers and prove to the market that they can build a reliable EV truck. Step two, offer a hybrid version of their full line of trucks. Step three, offer fully EV SUVs and pickup trucks for their full product line. The first step went well, as customers love their F-150 Lightnings, but the Ford Maverick has had five recalls so far, which is compromising their step two plan to build trust and is hurting their reputation with loyal customers. Ford Maverick recently had its fifth and largest recall. The problem was with the truck's side airbags, which are there to soften blows from the side, but also to prevent occupants from being thrown from the vehicle in a crash. The paperwork from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says the side curtain airbags may not deploy properly. The NHTSA performs a displacement test to assess a side curtain airbag's ability to keep occupants from flying out of the vehicle. They launch a 40-pound projectile at the airbag and the bag must not deform by more than 100 millimeters or 3.9 inches for it to pass. Ford's internal tests showed it had passed, however the NHTSA results were different and it failed. Ford engineers retested the Maverick with a new batch of airbags, which also failed. They then paused deliveries of new Mavericks and recalled all 64,974 Ford Mavericks with the problem. According to Ford, the recalls affect Mavericks made between February 3, 2021 to July 9, 2022, and owners will be contacted in September to arrange a replacement. But, like we said earlier, this is the fifth recall for the Ford Maverick. The first recall related to rear seatbelt buckles that might not be adequately attached to the rear floor. The company then recalled due to engine problems which led to fuel vapors being released into the hybrid engine compartment. Ford then confirmed two further recalls in August for fuel tank leaks and brake issues that could lead to an extended stopping distance. One Ford customer commented after experiencing two recalls in the space of months, I would like to know why we have so many recalls, Trenenko said. Why would there be faulty brake pads on a car with under 2,000 miles? In a statement, Ford Motor Company said, We recognize the inconvenience recalls cause our customers. We will always take any action required to ensure their safety and improve quality and customer satisfaction. We are absolutely committed to launching products with top quality and addressing issues when we see them. Ford launched the current hybrid Maverick to lure in potential EV customers with a low-cost way to sample EV technology. And it worked as people switched over to Ford from other brands. Carscoop.com has called the Maverick the Conquest King, as it is reporting that 60% of buyers of the new hybrid truck previously owned a different brand of car and switched to Ford specifically for the Maverick. This is a slightly worrying figure for Ford because these customers aren't getting a good first experience with their brand. Being hit with multiple recalls will most certainly create a negative experience for customers and get them to think about switching back. Jim Farley told analysts Wednesday during a call to discuss Ford's otherwise strong second quarter, We continue to be hampered by recalls and customer satisfaction action. This affects our cost, but more importantly, it falls short on our most fundamental commitment to our customers. Farley has said they're trying to get ahead of the problem. He wants to know what people are saying about Ford and has decided to monitor social media sites like Twitter and Facebook to keep his finger on the pulse. He has recently been seen on Twitter replying to customers and having some fun, just as his counterpart at Tesla is renowned for doing. Tesla is not without recalls either, having recently recalled 578,607 vehicles in the US because of an issue highlighted by the NHTSA. The car's boombox feature has been deemed unsafe because pedestrians may not be able to hear a required warning sound of an approaching car due to loud music or other sounds played by its boombox feature. 
Tesla has issued 10 U.S. recalls over the last four months, including four in the last two weeks. But the difference is that Tesla's cars are all connected, so Elon Musk's company can perform an over-the-air fix, updating the car's software to address the issues. These recalls are inexpensive for the EV giant in comparison with any Ford recalls that require the car to be physically repaired. The EV giant has experienced increased competition from US manufacturers, and analysts are expecting its market share to decrease. Bank of America Merrill Lynch's annual Car Wars study predicts that Tesla's electric vehicle market share will plummet from 70% today to just 11% by 2025. By mid-decade, according to study author John Murphy, a senior auto analyst at Bank of America Merrill Lynch, Ford and Chevy will surpass Tesla in terms of sales and market share. The report suggests that the two Detroit Titans will experience explosive growth from the F-150 Lightning and Silverado EVs. Murphy believes Tesla will lose its dominant position in the EV market because it is not expanding its portfolio quickly enough to keep up with both legacy automakers and new startups that are ramping up their EV lineups. Every EV or hybrid car Ford has released has sold out, so the demand is there. The problem now lies in their ability to scale their EV production and to keep quality high. And if they're going to realistically steal market share from Tesla by 2025, then they need to start producing a lot more EVs. Ford's long-term goal is to produce 2 million electric vehicles per year by 2026. But Tesla's already able to produce 2 million cars per year. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said in an investor update, it seems likely we'll be able to produce over 1.5 million cars this year. Following up with, it's probably going to be closer to 2 million, but I'm being a little bit conservative there. Wall Street investor Kathy Wood predicts that Tesla's production numbers in 2025 will be between 5 and 6 million. Even if Ford can achieve an aggressive target of 2 million cars per year by 2026, by then Tesla should already be making three times that number of cars. It seems hard to imagine that Ford will be able to steal market share from a company that produces three times more cars than them. One thing is for sure though, the Ford Maverick is a pickup that resonates with customers. It looks great, it's economical, and people love it. It truly is a pickup for the masses, just like the Ford Model T was a car for the everyday man. If Ford can at least solve their quality issues, they will be able to keep their new customers and loyal fans happy so that they don't switch to Tesla. Do you think Ford can get on top of their manufacturing issues in time to challenge Tesla? Let us know in the comments. We'd truly appreciate it if you'd leave a like and consider subscribing so you're always in the loop for the latest EV, Ford, Tesla, and tech news. See you next time.